Hello everybody and welcome to another episode oh, of Mix Mode. Got my Riley boy here today. Um, today we're going to do a video on, um, I've got a, um, a Briggs & Strat overhead E-series um, okay. engine. Eh? Okay. It's already open mate, yeah. Um, What's your name? Which I got off that fella who gave me that big massive job lot of, um, of mowers, Michael. Um, however, the engine he gave me is down here, what was on it. It was one of those power force units, and uh, for some reason, I just can't get it to run. It'll fire every time, yeah, uh, but, but it, 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 it just won't run. Um, so I need to investigate it. However, I did have a couple of old scrapper mowers with uh, no boxes and blown decks and what have you, with an E-Series engine on it. And um, off camera, I've been working away, um, got the engine running, but it does hunt and surge a little tiny bit as well. And I have cleaned the carburetor twice, and it's still not having it. So I have a choice. I either go and buy a brand new carburetor, 35, 40 quid, or I invest in one of these, which I had, which um, Top Conker sent me this a you long did? time ago. Yeah, just hold that very, very carefully just there. What's um, your name? It's a, it's a main jet. Part number uh, um, 597. Four, sorry, start again. Uh, 597 547, main jet assembly. What you do? For the overhead valve plastic Briggs. Um, carburetors and this is just for what cartridge so it's, it's a cartridge go inside a carburetor I will show you in a little tiny while um, <laughs> so we're gonna go for that um, now if this proves to be um, effective I've not done one of these yet before then that would be a much cheaper option than buying a carburetor now I have heard don't quote me that there are different ones you can buy I don't yet know if this is the right one for it it doesn't it doesn't say to my ability on it is uh, <laughs> doesn't it doesn't say just as main jet do no idea <laughs> So that number again is 597547. So before you go out ahead and purchase it, check this video out to make sure see if it does work, which would be cool. Don't forget, coming up very, very shortly, hopefully this video will be out before it happens, um, my Milwaukee 10,000 subscriber giveaway is coming. It will happen as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers. So keep an eye out for soon. Keep an eye out for my live streams and for my videos on how to enter. People have been asking me how do I win this stuff. You, I don't yet know yet because I haven't hit 10,000 subscribers. When I do, you will know. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mowers, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell. Ding! That way you'll be told one's on a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's try and get this little tiny lawnmower to stop hunting by fitting this jet insert into the carburetor. Right, let's have a little wander, Riley. Yeah, come here. And we're gonna go and try and uh, get this little mount filter run. Let's set you guys up just about here somewhere. <laughs> Something like that. What? So here's a, here's a little mount filter. This is one that, that Michael gave me. It's all complete, all runs but it was hunting and surging and mucking about. Um, this is an engine that I put on. There's fuel in there, plenty of fuel as well. So let's start it up. Okay, yeah, do it. Oh, give it, go and give it three pump pumps. I do? You can do it, yeah. Give it three pumps. He knows exactly where it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. Try it, Daddy. Fire up. So that's what it be doing. Um, so the carburetors for these are about 35 quid for a genuine. I highly recommend do not buy any um, um, copy ones because they're, they're no better. So we'll get this up on the bench and uh, we'll try and fit this jet into this original carburetor. See if it doesn't stop the hunting and surging. And if it does, then that's about to be a cheap fix rather than buying a brand new carby. Right, so here is the old uh, lawnmower up on the bench. Take the air box off, remove the air filter, and then you want a selection of, um, of sockets. Now, 
I might become a bit unstuck here because I have had sockets out absolutely everywhere. I want a set of forceps and I want my short extension bar, which I know is actually not in its in its cubby hole because I was using it just the other day. So I might have to do a bit of jiggery pokery here until I find it. It is about somewhere. Right, found it. I knew I had it out somewhere because I was uh, I was mucking about earlier on. So I want an eight mil. First off, I want my impact gun to begin with. Two different sizes on here on his E series. One here, eight mil. One uh, over here, eight mil. And then you want to go down a size. Oh, sort of a bung in the old camera, it happens. One seven mil down there and one seven mil down there, okay? That will then release the air box cover. That pulls off and on the back of here, you've got your, your crankcase breather pipe, which goes onto here. So when you put this back on, you have to put your finger over top and just make sure that the crankcase breather pipe is sat onto there, okay? Don't forget that. Uh, plenty of fuel in this tank. So, in fact, I'm going to use my set of um, smallest pipes because these are for the Quantums and the um, E series. These are better for clamping fuel off rather than the, rather than the, uh, the standard hemostats and what have you. Um, I want a pair of pliers. I've got tools absolutely everywhere. I have been super busy. So, at the moment, I'm sort of just working with, with what I've got on the bench. I've been so busy with stuff, it's uh, it's absolutely hideous. Uh, set of uh, pliers or grips to remove the fuel fuel clamp, and then you'll bring that this uh, petrol hose off. Change it for a pair of long nose. Because these are a bit fiddly to get off. They tend to be better when you just sort of twist them off rather than uh, just pulling them. There it goes. It goes like that. And then you can then pull this carburetor out of its housing, put it straight out, and then just tip the carburetor over onto its side and back and comes off of the off the throttle um, linkage there. And there's our carby. Um, and this is where the, the jet goes inside. So let me get this over to the bench and then um, I'll show you how to take it apart and then I'll show you how to install this new jet. Okay, I've got you zoomed in as much as I dare without bashing the older fashion the old uh, camera tripod legs. Right, carburetors here. What I recommend of these carbies is literally I just scratch a line down one side on the top or bottom with a knife or, or flathead driver, just so you know exactly which way around it goes, okay? Before you uh, take it apart. Seven mil, crack that off. Seven mil, crack that one off. So there's two to come off. And then that little tiny bowl, with a bit of a twist, we'll just separate up off of the machine, off, off of the carby, there it goes. Lots of fuel in there. And then just want to remove the um, the float and needle. Let me get a pair of long nose pliers, we're gonna need them. <clears throat> so just remove the float and needle by lifting up on the pin both sides. I'm only doing this just so you can see. You don't, you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you just for, just for ease. And then here is the, the main jet assembly. Just make a note that it, it points upwards towards this little tiny Welch plug just there. And all you do is just get hold of it with a pair of long nose pliers and just tease it out of its housing like so, okay? And lay it down like that. And then we've got our new part is here and there's a part number again in case you need it let me give that camera lens just a little bit of a wipe off it's a bit to uh, a bit of a fingerprint on that's probably better for you already and here is the the new style um jet and the difference between the two is you have a, a brass jet here brass jet there on this one here there's no brass jet anymore okay they've removed it 
and it's now just a, just a standard drill drill port okay and all we're going to do is literally push that straight into there and push that down that's it that's all you've got to do you can then get your your float and your needle connect that back up put that back into place run your pin through gently gently clip that into place and that one that's it that's all there that's done and then just find your mark on your carburetor which my marks here and the other mark is there so i know that that goes on there like so push that down together home it's got an o-ring on there push it all the way in line that up get your two seven mils start one off get your other seven mil Start that off, job done. Let's put it back on the, on the lawnmower and we'll go from there. Okay, back on the old lawnmower again. And all you want to do is just tip this, this carburetor up this way so the bowl is facing the front. And there's a little tiny throttle linkage. Let me try and show you so you get a bit, a bit of a better, better shot at it. There you go. Little tiny throttle linkage just here. All you want to do is just put, sink your carburetor in, grab hold of your throttle linkage and just tip the carburetor up and place it in place and then tilt it back so your throttle linkage is on. You then make sure that your, your throat of the carburetor goes onto the inlet manifold, push it all the way in and home, like so. You wanna grab your uh, pair of long nose pliers. <clears throat> grab hold of your fuel hose, bend it down and then seat that up into its position like so, that's good. Grab your pliers or grips, get your fuel hose, sorry if my hands are in the way. Take the fuel hose round, fuel hose clip round, put that into position. Remove your fuel hose clamp, done. And then get your air box cover. And there's your inlet manifold, um, breather pipe, sorry, your, your breather pipe, crankcase breather, and there's your tube. All you gotta do is push it in place and then just push that tube onto the back of that, that cover. It's a bit fiddly, but it goes on with relative ease. And then just literally just marry up your, your air box so that your screws now fit. I need me, um, I need me, <coughs> me impact. And you've got four screws to put back in. Just bear in mind, there's two different types of screw, one eight, one seven, one's, one's for plastic, one's for metal. The plastic one is a coarse thread, the metal one is a fine thread. So we want the, um, the seven mil first, which would be your plastic threads. One goes there, oh, dropped it. Fingers. So one seven mil goes on the bottom. And one seven mil goes on the top there. Change socket to an eight mil. And one eight mil goes over this side here, which is into the metal, because it's a fine thread. And one eight mil goes here, because it's a metal thread as well. Like so. You can then get your air filter. Uh, that way. Sink him in. Get your air filter cover down the bottom, push up the top clip it into place. And that's it, done. But has it actually fixed a lawnmower? It may have done, it may not. If it doesn't, it'd be a new carburetor, um, but we should see. So meet you outside in two ticks and we'll go from there. Right, let's have a look then. Let's check the fuel. Yeah, there's plenty in there. 
two or three pumps and let's see if that's made any difference at all. Hopefully it's fixed. That'd be lush. Happy with that. <clears throat> happy with that. Let's put a little box on it. Not to make any difference. But I've been waiting for uh, to do this video so I can get this machine up for sale. It's got a nice little Briggs E Series engine, which I'm not a fan of because of a carbies. But you can put that little cartridge in there. It takes minutes. Happy enough with that. I mean, they, they do hunt to a degree anyway, but they're, they're not the bit of the smoothest running machines. But I'm happy with that. That'll sell. So there you have it. Simple, quick, and easy. Um, just done a bit of research on Tinternet. Uh, on eBay, it says genuine um, £10.90. And on Garden Hire Spares, not affiliated, um, what did I say? £8. I can't remember now. Uh, bear with. Uh, Garden Hire Spares site, uh, £7.26, £8.71, including VAT. You might have to put postage on top of that, but uh, let's say a tenner. For a tenner, um, you can get your Briggs & Stratton E-Series plastic carburetor, which we all hate, um, because of that hunting and surging issue. You can replace just that main jet in minutes, uh, stops the hunting, and surging and then away you go. And for what it takes, clean the carburetor out, you're only going in there to clean the jets out anyway, so you may as well just replace the jets and get it done. If you did it every year, 10 pound a year, it's a no brainer. So there you go, hope you enjoyed a little video on how to stop your E-Series Briggs and Stratton engine hunting and surging uh, by installing the main jet cartridge that they now do um, as a replacement, which is fantastic, and an upgrade as well. If you like this sort of video of mixed modes, don't forget to hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.